Hello everyone, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Musab Sayed. I'm having an experience of 13 plus years in this corporate world. So in the last video, we have seen how to download the image of Red Hat, how to set up a virtual machine. Now, in this video, we are going to see how to launch that virtual machine, how to power on the virtual machine and continue with few more steps. So last time we created this virtual machine with the name Gotham Linux, which is now ready. So we'll double click on this virtual machine and this is going to power on. See powering on the virtual machine might take a little while. So we need to show a little patience till it get power up. One more thing over here is that as soon as the machine power up, the window that appears will be a little smaller. Now, if you want to view the bigger fonts and bigger window, then we need to adjust the viewing option over there. Let's see how to change the window size. Click on view and there is an option called scale mode. When you click here and maximize the window, you will get the access to bigger fonts. Now to access the virtual machine, click anywhere inside the virtual machine. As you click inside the virtual machine, you get access to your VM. Now you see up arrow, down arrow, it's moving. To release the cursor out, right hand control key of your keyboard. So when you click on right hand control key of the keyboard, the mouse cursor will be released. To access, click inside. To release, right control. So I'll go and click inside and there is our first option, install Red Hat Linux 9.2. The moment I hit enter, the installation begins. So here the installer start and this installer will guide us through the whole installation step. Now instead of waiting, let's go to our lab handout and let's see what would be the next step. So first step, you have click on install the operating system and after a while, it gives you this message. And the message says to select the language. See here, there are so many languages that you can select. We are going to select English as our language and English India because if there is any problem, we must get support from Indian support team. And if we happens to purchase the subscription, we can purchase in Indian currency. That's why these are so many English related languages. So let's see that how much time will it take and give us that screen. So in few moments, you'll see that the screen will appear with different languages option. So still it's waiting couple of seconds you have to wait and it gives you the language screen. From there, a beautiful dashboard will be available that will guide us through to simple installation mechanism. So here we go. The screen is now getting to appear. In a moment, you see that the language page will get available. So here it is showing English as a language and so many options in English. I'm going to select English India. Now click on continue. This will take a little bit of time and it gives us a beautiful dashboard where you can select different different options and complete your installation. First of all, you see the keyboard it has selected as English and the language is English, but the time zone is as per New York. Guys, we are not in New York and this machine is not in New York. This is in India. So I want to change the time zone to India. Click on time and date and here appears the world map. And guys, we know where is our country. Just click on India. And as per the time, if you want AM PM format, you can click it here. Now, as we are done with the time zone, which will be Asia, Kolkata, IST. Click on done and this is going to complete your time and date setting. Now, if you have Red Hat subscription, maybe your organization has purchased the subscription. They'll give you a subscription key, which you have to enter while you are connected to Internet. 
In my case, I don't have any subscription and the beauty is Red Hat runs without subscription also. You can install it, you can work with it. Only that thing is you won't get updates and support. We'll get that later. So I'm skipping that registration part. The installation I want to do through local media, that is DVD, and the software selection. When you click on software selection, there are so many options that are available, like server with GUI. Server with GUI is going to give you graphical interface where you can use graphics and you can work with Linux. Now, there are few users, guys, who does not like to work with graphics. They are power users, command line users. They only want to work with command line. Do we have an option for them? Yes, it's just server. So if you select only server, this is going to give you command line. So there are two important options guys, server with GUI or just a simple server. In my case, I'll go with server with GUI because I really want you to show that Linux works with graphics too. Let me click on done. Now once you have clicked on done, the next thing is to go for installation destination. Now installation destination is nothing but the partitions. How many partitions do you want to create and what sizes would you like to give? So let's click on installation destination. In here, it has already selected the available disk with 30 GB. Do not disturb it. Just go little below there is an option storage configuration automatic or custom how would you like to do the partition i'll say i would like to do custom partitions i want custom partitioning to be done so let's click on custom and say done custom will allow you to decide how many partitions you want to create and uh, what size that it should be there. If you select automatic, entire disk will be used and not even one MB will be left free for you. So if you want to be in charge of all the partitions, better you go with custom. Now in here, you see 30 GB disk is there and entire 30 GB is free. What I wanted to do is I want to create partitions. To create partitions, you have plus to add the partition, minus to remove the partitions, and reset to reset everything. Now, in this drop down menu, it is selecting LVM. Now, guys, we haven't learned what is LVM yet. In our coming classes, we are due to learn what is LVM, how it works, and all. So, in today's session, I'm going to change it from LVM to standard partition, a regular partition, which is good. So let's click on plus and here we have the list of partitions that you can create. So first I'm going to create root. Root is the most important partition and it needs to have maximum space. Overall capacity I have is 30 GB. Let me give 20 GB out of it. So, I'm trying to give 20 GB to this partition. 20 G is nothing but GB. Same way T for TB, K for KB as per your requirement. Let me click on add. So, you see 20 GB hard disk has been created. Next, I'll click on plus, go to drop down menu. This time, I'm going to create boot. How much size can we get to boot? See, we just learned that the boot required just 1 GB capacity. So I'll give 1 G. Next, I'll go for plus and the last partition swap. Generally, swap size should be same like RAM or you can give twice of RAM. Maybe just 1 GB, 2 GB or double, that is 4 GB. So I'm going to give it 4 GB. My RAM is 2 GB, so I'm giving swap as 4 GB. Let's click on add. So our desired partition, root, boot, and swap, all the three are created. Nothing else I need it now. 
I still have 5 GB remaining which I'll be using later. So let me click on done. It will give a menu that do you really want to accept these changes and create the partition? I'll say yes. I really want to create it. Accept. Next thing it is asking you KDump. You see KDump is enabled and let us not disturb it. KDump will capture the information of the system crash. Whenever the system crashes, why system crash? KDump is going to capture that information. Let us not disturb it. So today we have seen how we can go with keyboard setting, time and date setting, installation source, software selection, installation. Now we have to go with KDOM, network, security and root password, which we are going to see in our next video. For today, this much is enough. We'll meet in next video and we'll continue with the next steps in your installation. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.